Welcome to this video tutorial about implementing ABAP Managed Database Procedures in ABAP on HANA as of SAP NetWeaver Application Server ABAP 7.4 Support Package 5. First of all, let me briefly introduce what ABAP Managed Database Procedure, short AMDP, is all about. It's a class-based framework which offers a top-down approach for managing and calling HANA procedures in ABAP. An AMDP is implemented as a method of a global class marked with specific interfaces. The corresponding database procedure is created at the first call of the AMDP method. One of the main benefits of this approach is that only the AMDP class has to be transported with the standard ABAP transport mechanism. No HANA delivery unit and no HANA transport container are involved in this process. Developer only needs the ABAP development tools for implementing AMDP methods. There is no need for an additional HANA development user or for the SAP HANA Studio. If you want more information on AMDP, I'll refer you to the video Introduction to the ABAP Managed Database Procedures in HANA. Let's now start with the system demonstration. We will use a class prepared for the demo. The methods of this class contains dummy coding for the classification of customers regarding their payment ability. Our demo class comprises some public types definitions, a public instance method, and a private instance method. Let's have a closer look at the class definition. It is a regular global final class. In the public section, we can see the public type definition followed by the definition of the method classify. The table of business partner identifiers is expected as importing parameter and the table for the result set including the classification is expected as exporting parameter. In the private section, the method classify underscore habap has the same parameter interface definition. In the class implementation, the method classify just calls the private method classify underscore ABAP, which contains a basic implementation of the classification. The focus of this demo is purely on showing how to create and consume an AMDP in ABAP. This process is independent from the complexity of the business logic contained in the method. A demo report for displaying the result set has also been prepared. An internal table with the business partner identifiers is created and handed over to the public method classify. The result set is then displayed using a utility class. Let's run the report and have a look at the current result. Let's go back to the demo class and transform it in order to provide the same functionality as AMDP this time around. For that, we first have to specify the marker interface for the SAP HANA database. Our class is now a so-called AMDP class, which can contain one or more AMDP methods. We will now define a new method by copying the method classify underscore ABAP under a new name and adjusting the parameter interface to fulfill the prerequisites of an AMDP method. As already mentioned, exporting, importing, and changing parameters are allowed. The parameters have to be tables or scalar types, and have to be passed as values. We will also add a new import parameter to pass over the ABAP client. This method can be implemented as regular ABAP method or as AMDP method. In the implementation section, we first have to define the method as an AMDP by specifying the keyword SPY database procedure. In addition, SAP HANA has to be specified as the database platform and SQL script as the database language that will be used to implement the procedure. SAP HANA specific options can also be specified. 
That's it. The procedure can now be implemented. I will just paste a code sample for the classification into the method. Well, an error is displayed in our procedure. This is due to the fact that the ABAP table containing the business partner information is not known from Sabhana. To solve this issue, a using clause with the names of all ABAP dictionary objects and all AMDP procedures used within the implementation have to be specified. It is helpful to set a different background color for embedded coding in ABAP editors. It makes it easier to check for AMDP procedure in a class. We will now change the implementation of the method classify in order to call the AMDP method. The AMDP methods are called similarly to classic ABAP methods. We can save and activate the class and go back to our demo report to display the result of the AMDP procedure. The question coming up at this point is when to use AMDP instead of classical ABAP methods. In general, we can say that if your application involves data-intensive processing with poor performance or you want to make use of the advanced native HANA functions or existing HANA procedures, then we strongly recommend the use of AMDP. Here is an example of more complex classification logics. Millions of sales invoice items are processed and functions of the HANA calculation engine are used. This is the end of our demonstration. For more information, guides and tutorials, please visit our homepage on SCN.